because you know why? Why? Because it feels right. It feels right. Legendary. And here we are. A little It Feels Right bonus episode. A bonus episode. <laughs> so we've got, this is our first guest. Congratulations. Oh, wow. sweet. That's a big deal, Yana. You don't, you, don't, you don't understand how big of a deal it is. Uh-huh. And um, we talked a little bit about it. I didn't even check to see if my hair looks okay. How do I look it at it? It looks fantastic. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it, like flawless. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> flawless. <laughs> looks like Lindsay Davenport, but it's not. Um, okay, focus. Uh-huh. Just finished a little practice session. We're at MLP in Columbus. We're at the facility, Pickle and Chill. We've got Yana Grishkina Newell. Mm-hmm. Is that fair to say at yes. this point? Okay. AKA Yana Bear. Yana Bear. Yana Bear. Because mm-hmm. because she fights bears in Russia. <laughs> that's what they, that's <laughs> allegedly. What they, that's what they do with small children in Russia. They wrestle oh, okay. bears. Yes. You know, it's just yes. it's just part of the deal. It's how to grow up. It's it's part of being that's Russian. How I think. Make yes. us, I think. Make exactly. Us tough. Well, exactly. clearly we uh, we have Yana on. Because there was some controversy at controversy controversy at the uh, Las Vegas PPA Championship, so Adam and I went pretty hard on it and talked about it quite at, at length from our perspective. But to actually have somebody that was there on court playing, strategizing, trying to win the match, however it took, because that's what you do in sports. We just want to hear. <laughs> right. I'm still going hard, I guess. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, so we just want to hear the perspective from a player that was on court that was implementing that strategy. Just give us some background on the match, how it started, what made you guys take that strategy and go from there. Yeah, well, we lost the first set. Uh, We were losing the second set, and uh, I was telling Adam before we took a timeout with Regina early in the first set, and Jay was running around, and uh, I was like, Jay, what you got for us? Joking. (laughs) And he didn't know who we were playing, and he looks at who you got, and he sees the water, and he goes, "Uh, well... Gotta take it to Mama Waters. I'm like, mm, yeah, no, really. <laughs> Fantastic advice, yeah. Jay. Really earth-shattering stuff. Yeah. Next level. Yeah. Hair um, chest. Hair chest. And you know what? I'm looking around like, you know what? Sun's pretty rough right now. And it brought me back to my tennis days. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, Regina, why don't we just try something completely new and just try and shake things out a little bit and let's just lob Lee and see what happens. So we lobbed her once. And was successful, loved her <laughs> twice, was successful, and then it got in her head. And at that point, I didn't even care about what we were doing. I just cared about breaking them mentally, and it seemed to work, so we just kept lobbing. And, yeah, I don't see what's wrong with loves. Uh, nothing. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll answer that for you. Absolutely nothing. It's a fantastic <laughs> shot, especially if I'm playing somebody and I see that they don't like whatever shot I'm hitting – you damn well better be sure I'm to keep hitting that shot. Yeah, you walk. You know, you, you like, walk back to the baseline with your partner and you say, "Keep going there." Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's that. That's we just won three do. points well, in a row well, doing whatever this. Whatever it is, it could be a dink somewhere. It could be a spot where you're speeding up. Yeah. It could be. It could be whatever. A lob. It could be a lob. And yeah. we've all lob. played college tennis, and that's like number one strategy. You find a weakness and you just keep going, keep going, keep totally. going until you lose f- more than fifty percent of right. that yep. strategy. And you and you mentioned something, Yana, about how you you went through a wrist injury in tennis. Yes. And. When you were doing that, you were having trouble hitting those heavy ground strokes, and so you would kind of lob deep and come to the net, and that's, that was your strategy. That's what I did. My coach won't let me lie. I was injured for about two years, my freshman year, my sophomore year. It was really painful. I couldn't move my wrist this way. So what I did is I would just lob to the back end of the girl and just come to the net and crush it every time, mm-hmm. and it worked fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you kept doing it because it worked. Right, yeah. yes. Because yeah. that's what you Everyone do in sports, Everyone hated Adam. it, but I didn't care. Yeah, like, right. I'm winning. That's all that matters. <laughs> well, let me say, there's no one way to win. There's no right Correct. way to win. You you take what you got, the elements, all the shots, all the variables, and you do whatever it takes to win the point. Right. There's and, nothing wrong with that ever. Right. And we, we talked on uh, the pod that came out this morning that um, say, say, for instance, it was interesting that you said – rattle them mentally so we no, have no no i think she said break them mentally, break, okay. which is way better okay. See, thank no, you that, for saying that. that that was good cop. break that them. was, that was yeah. good cop saying rattle them. destroy but, them but mentally. we talked a little bit about some of the mental warfare that matt wright does yeah and we and, and and that mental part of the game is a huge deal and we talked about how i if i'm cramping or i'm not good physically uh with my endurance and making it through the game who is not going to pick on that that's part of the game the mm-hmm. f- fi- being physically fit being skillful at the game and being mentally tough it's all little components of the game and if you can't 
beat them on one of the other two or three, you shift over and maybe try a different tactic. And uh, that's kind of how I see what, what went on there. And it makes perfect sense. Totally. And her comment, I think, to you was, you're, we doing, this be- you're and- doing this because you can't beat us straight up. We were scared. And you're scared. <laughs> but what? I was actually pretty fired up. I don't know if I was scared. Huh? Oh, Did you I got the, scared? No, no. You got the crowd fired up. I love that. That was uh-huh. probably my favorite part. And then even the commentators on the tennis channel were like, oh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. They love that. More of that, please. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, it was going to be great. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that it was, but I, I can't read your mind. So. The feed. Oh, the comment. The, the comment f- that she made. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said, yeah, I guess not a huge point to it, but other than the fact that there, like, what is straight up? What is right. straight up? Mm-hmm. There is no straight up. Why do I have to play the way you like to yeah, play? Yeah, you want me to, okay, so you want me to drop to you, come to the kitchen, get into patterns. Yeah, let's not do that. There you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. here's the match. No, you, you want to try different things. You want right. to do different strategies, and that's how, that's how you figure stuff out. And you know, if, if the Johns wanted Matt and Riley to play straight up with them, they would just dink with them. But no, they pull the trigger because they found they have fast hands and they can beat them like that. Right. There's, you, you find weaknesses and you exploit them, period. There's no right way to play. There's no, there's no straight up way to play, in her words. So. Right. And, and after, you know, uh, was there any more maybe jawing or communication between, between you and Lee, even on maybe some of the timeouts or after the match where she... <sighs> She just kind of maybe continued to uh, be unhappy with what was happening. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. So, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, so what was said? Because uh, we, we just, honestly, we saw the second game and then the feed cut out on YouTube. Yeah. Which. I was honestly hoping she would lob me when we would be on yeah. the other side. I yeah. was ready. I love lobs. So yeah, give me crack all the lobs. overhead. I, lob, I, lob, I <laughs> yeah. love overhead. Although I shanked one the first set, but yeah. I still love them. You keep going. She said uh, when we were tapping paddles after the second game, she said, Get ready. <laughs> no, she did not. She did. No, she did not. Oh, oh, oh. That's great. The plot thickens. I loved I love it. it. Oh, I thought it was awesome. I like the way you just said, get ready. Yeah. Ch- <laughs> change the voice and everything. Yeah. And obviously, we're in the same tour, so uh, I didn't want any tension after the match. And I saw her after the match. I wanted to sure, sure. be cool. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, I was like, hey, it's, there's n- it's not necessary to be mean. I yeah. think it's... We just find the ways to win, and she wasn't having it. She thought it was very unethical to use the sun. Right. Very unethical. Come right. on. Yeah. Did yeah. she use that word? She said she would never do that. Did she use that word? Uh-huh. Unethical. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, 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 I sense a bad cop c- uh, coming right now. It just, no, I, like I said earlier, it doesn't compute for me. I, don't, I just can't understand that mindset. Like, you know, for a second, I did feel bad. I was like, oh, but I was like, no. Right. Why? Because she was kind of trying to manipulate you into well, making you, know, you feel thought, like you did something wrong. I thought, wrong. hey, you won the match. Good job. Yeah. You, you battled it out. Uh, we can be okay after the match, and we couldn't be okay and after the be. match. And, and, and see, that's that that would probably, <laughs> since I was the good cop on yeah. the thing, that that's probably the main thing to me. Is I we talked about it the other day. I kind of kind of lost it on you and Rob Cassidy at yeah at, in Michigan. Like I said, we are competitors. We're in these moments. Th- things get heated. But in that moment, you might lose it a little bit, and then when you get out of that moment and look back at it, you're like, ah, you know, I I, I probably could have handled this a little differently or whatever. So the fact that there is nothing even remotely like that happening um, in, in her thought process is is the part that probably uh, is more of an issue for me than the actual yeah. the actual what happened. You know? Yeah, and it's not even it's not even that. It's the doubling down on it and calling her opponents unethical mm-hmm. when she was in the wrong it's that it's, does it compute adam <laughs> I, I wish you could see my brain it's like yeah. nothing's yeah. connecting there's, there's lots of head nothing's shaking. connecting uh, lots of head shaking over there you're, you're gonna mess up your hair up if you uh, doing it's, that. it's i'm past it it's over <laughs> um okay so how did the third game go because you guys you guys mm-hmm. obviously switched sides at six um did you guys continue to throw up lobs when you got we back did. on that side? We hit a few lobs in the first half of the third set when we were the sunny side, but we mm-hmm. still threw a few lobs. Yeah. Lee handled pretty well one set of lobs, and then I think she missed another lob. So, I mean, I don't see how the sun was a problem there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again, it was it was all... Mental. Yes. Mental warfare. Yep. Um, they got a quick 6-2, I think, on the changeover, and I told... Well, Regina, hey, just lobbing it. Yeah. Let's just keep going. And uh, the second I saw her step in, in front, I was like, oh, 
get back, get back here. here. <laughs> Stay back. So they got a little they got a little lead on us. The game uh -huh. was going pretty fast. Yeah. We should have slowed it down a little bit because they like that pace. Um, we got all the way back to gosh, I don't remember. But we started getting back again in the game. Mm -hmm. So what they started going to the baseline. <laughs> but at some point we were both actually hitting from the baseline. So all four both back. Teams. Yeah. That's fun. Oh and it was amazing because I could hear Matt Wright on the stand saying, oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> both, both teams are like on right. the baseline. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This is great. Yeah. Have a blast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then we would still lob. They were on the baseline. We would still hit, hit, lob. then would lob, lob. And then eventually we would come in or sometimes Anna Lee would come in. And that's when I started driving the ball because she was trying to poach mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're just changing up a little bit sometimes it was working sometimes it was not but yeah. I, I just we should have kept the lobbing strategy going yeah. kept the mental game going and um yeah it sounded like you had lee on the ropes mentally yeah, like she was close to breaking. And so, and so what happened? Was none of the the third game streamed? Is that correct? It Apparently. was on Tennis Channel, but it went down on YouTube. It went oh. down on YouTube. Okay, yeah. I see. I see. Because I, I think the I video definitely did not see any of that. Yeah, game. I didn't either. The video audio was off, mm -hmm. so they shut down the stream. But weird timing, right? Uh -huh. Amidst all the controversy, I, re I remember the chat saying in the in the finals. Uh, in the finals on Sunday, they were like, "Where's Stephen Waters?" I think he pulled the plug on the. Uh, I think he pulled the plug <laughs> on the stream, stream uh, yeah. previously, so I, I thought that was kind of funny. But even just one more thing, uh, I, I was interviewing uh, Federico Staxrud at the Chicago Open, and he was like, in singles, he was just getting the ball and just getting right to the line and just being really intense about it. And I asked him in the interview afterwards, and I was I was like, you know, is that just your style? Do you really like to play fast pace? And he just like, I, I want to let them know that I am going nowhere and I am ready to play mm -hmm. this point right now. I don't care how long the previous point was. I don't care any of that. And that, just another example of, of mental warfare totally. right there, uh, of how you can possibly affect something and, and get – get, get uh, a dip in play from your opponent by, by letting them know that you're going nowhere. Mm -hmm. So uh, just thought I'd bring that up as a, another little Body tidbit. Body language, yeah, totally. Yeah. For sure. Federico would not want to play me in singles because I take a lot of towel breaks. <laughs> a lot of towel breaks between yeah, points. A lot, every towel. A lot of people Every do. point, every towel. But man, he, he was on it though. He was right there. Yeah. And, uh, and it was actually very cool to hear his answer when I asked him that question because uh, I wasn't exactly sure why that was happening. I was like, you know what, Fed? I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's pretty cool. So... So I guess what's your uh, – so we know what happened now. We know kind of like your thought process strategy-wise with Regina. What are your thoughts? Obviously, you try to make things good after the match. What are your thoughts on everything that transpired, just generally speaking? Like, did it shock you that she was upset? Because it shocked a lot of people. Yeah, well, I'm not going to lie. I thought it showed a lot of personalities there, and I – I'm genuinely happy for people who succeed and people who work hard, people who who are happy for other people. And mm -hmm. I just didn't feel the same from the other team. Mm -hmm. Like, it's... I think we all should be friends off the court and we should cheer each other on and pump each other up. And it was just a little different energy, different vibe that I got from that team. And I... I'm st I still respect them. I still think they're amazing. I mean, you see the results. They're great. Sure. But it's just hard when you – I don't know how to put this. No, I th I, th I think that – I mean, I, I I can already tell the the vibe of what you're saying there yeah. for sure. And, and definitely – She can hit an overhead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lee Whitwell. Lee Whitwell. Uh, <laughs> doing some, <laughs> some dance. Doing we, some were, shim we were playing, uh, we went to the back draw and we were playing against Lee and uh, Salome Davidze. Mm. And uh, <laughs> Regina's like, should we love? I was like, Regina, <laughs> not this team. I mean, not this no. team. Yeah, right, right. You have, a, you have a pretty tough singles player right here yeah. who can smack overheads like yeah, crazy. Sure, and you got sure. Lee who has unbelievable hands. Yeah, right. We, we still, we lobbed one point and we got destroyed yeah, by Lee. Right. I was like, Regina, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. wrongly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah no, exactly. No, but I, I do like what you said about having some balance of having be, being a fierce competitor and then and then le leaving that on the court or yeah. kind of compartmentalizing yeah. that. And uh, I don't think it's just 
individual or specific, I think you could even make it as broad as kind of what pickleball was three or four years ago to kind of what it's turning into. Yeah. So uh, Maybe that's the, the new era of pickleball. Yeah, We're just but lobbing, I mean, drop shotting, lobbing, right, drop right, shotting. I mean, right, the game's not solved. Who knows? Back. Five years from now, we could, we, we could have two people back just lobbing away. Yeah, think about how different the games the game is now versus three, four years ago. Right. Where it's all soft, dinking, like very like fluffy, neutral dinks that would get eaten up now, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Someone would just come up there and, and roll yep. it and, and keep it in and, and hit a, hit an offensive shot. So I, I think that that's kind of a little individual situation. That's kind of a microcosm of some of the, the more broader uh, things that, that a lot of people are talking about with pickleball in that, you know, that welcoming and, and well, we're getting into some real money and some real pro stuff. So it's never going to be perfect, but, but to be able to balance that competitiveness with uh, camaraderie, I think it's it's a reasonable thing to do, but I know some people a lot of some people do struggle with that. I don't even know if it needs to be camaraderie or friendship, but at least at least res- respect. Right, sure, it needs sure. to be respect. Yeah, yeah, that's probably probably uh, uh, you put that probably better for sure. Yeah, I think we covered it. Yeah, no, I, th- I think that was good. Yeah, uh, we really appreciate you on. I know it was kind of a touchy touchy situation mm-hmm. and and kind of a. You know, a, a tough thing to 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 go over, but uh, yeah, definitely happy to have you on, and it was uh, good to hear your perspective for sure. Yeah, thank you guys for having yeah. me here. First guest, that's First a big guest. deal, Yana. Yeah, we're gonna have to get you some kind of some some Aww. some kind of treat or trophy <laughs> or something. No <laughs> doubt, because you know why? Why? Because it feels right. It feels right. Legendary. Yeah.